parents, we know you have so many questions as your kids go back to school. That's why we spoke to OU Children's doctors about the things you can do to keep them safe heading back to the classroom. I feel like you guys are ringing the bell loud and clear. Exactly. The message is simple. Kids need to be in school to do so safely. Kids should be masked and if eligible, should be vaccinated. And that's what we simply want to be able to say with clarity as a united group. This is what we can do personally, and this is what we can do for our communities and for one another. As a neonatal intensive care doctor and father, Trent Tipple is like so many parents in the metro. His children are headed back to the classroom. That's why tomorrow he and his colleagues at OU Children's Hospital will give parents clear advice and information for this very reason. We don't want to meet your children in the critical care setting. We don't want to, to see children have to use us. Where are you at mentally, physically right now? We're tired. We're all exhausted. Um, there's not anyone in healthcare that has not been impacted either professionally or personally through this pandemic. And just as it felt like we were seeing the clouds part and our ability to regain some sense of normalcy in life, the Delta variant has all of us on high alert once again. There's a, a phenomenon in the intensive care setting called alarm fatigue. When you hear the alarms enough times, your mind starts to cancel out those alarms. We're alarm fatigued. And with pediatric hospitalizations rising due to COVID-19, he worries if the alarm isn't sounded now. We actually, it has a ripple effect, not only in this institution, but throughout the state and allowing us to provide care in other areas completely unrelated to COVID. In Oklahoma City, Christine Stanwood, KOCO 5 News.